Okay, jump back into the mozzie and another user mission. This one here is called Operation Rising Light. Uh, I'll put a link in the description. It's by, it goes by username Lewis39941 in the uh, user files. But uh, yeah, Lewis has put this one together. And just going through the package here, there is a lot of detail and it's very well done. I'm um, always like a good uh, setup for the missions. And I did check quickly and it has got an eboard, so that's terrific. Uh, I've actually got these blown up a bit bigger, so I'll uh, jump into that in a second. Uh, we'll just run through the situation. So the setup for this, 18 hours ago, East Church Airfield, which is to the north England here, I uh, was hit hard by German bombers believed to be JU-88s operating out of uh, Merville uh, in France, uh, which is a coincidence because that's exactly where my last campaign finished up uh, with the Anton. So I know it well. Uh, hopefully I can find it better on a bomb run than I can trying to land, but we'll see how we go. Um, so yeah, East Church has just been hit and taken, uh, they uh, lost a lot of fuel and ammo supplies in the bombing run. I uh, managed to get the bombers out down to Manston in time because we got word of the attack, but lost a lot of supplies. So we're going to reply in kind uh, to Merville. Uh, before we head out, we send a couple of, or well, flight down to make uh, contact with the SOE agents in France who are going to help us out on our um, bomb run. They're going to light some buyers if the word got through to them and uh, mark us in between the uh, AAA on the best route to the target. Uh, we'll know uh, as soon as we jump in by the sound of it, a uh, cordite flight will be coming in to land and then we'll get the go for the mission. There's word here of some Lancasters that are up. I don't know too much about that except that it's on a need to know basis and it's not a factor in my mission but uh, yeah that's interesting. We'll see what happens with those. Um, we've got two bombs, 500 pounders on board and I'll run through the targets uh, now. So there are the radio channels there. So I'm going to bring up uh, the images here. So first of all we've got Manson Field. Uh, we'll be coming out of uh, the end here once um, Cordite lands and then just holding on the runway till we get the green flare. Uh, that's our flight. We've got a lot of planes up. We're going to have um, three flights of mosquitoes. I'm in Enfield, 1 1, leading the pack. Uh, God help us. <laughs> um, and then I've got uh, a few Spitfire flights joining me at Limpney, so having an escort as well. So, yeah, very, very full on uh, flight. Uh, these are all the waypoints um, and the headings. There is a lot of them because we've got a bit of a tour of England happening here. Uh, we're actually flying out of Manston, the opposite direction. France, back to Eastchurch, Detlin, Edcorn, Limpney, and then back over to France. Uh, probably picking up a flight along the way, we'll pick up the Spitfires in Limpney. So, yeah, interesting one. We'll have a good look at the countryside. Then we head across the channel and down to our target in Merville. And there's the route back in the red. That's our route heading in. We've the SOE agents get the word. They'll be lighting the fires just uh, to the north here. And we'll be lined up with that. Make a little short zigzag in and open our bomb bays in the green and hit the target in the red. So once I drop my bombs, there is a flight of Germans um, stationed nearby. So we've got to quickly make a few strafing runs if we can and get the heck out of Dodge. Um, there's the airfield, there's the targets down below here. We've got a main one, these hangars. And then we've got uh, secondaries, which are going to be um, the JU-88s and there's a few logistical trucks and warehouses to strike as well. That's our primary target being those buildings. So I think that is about it. Let's jump in and see how we go. All right, let's do it. Unpause. And let's find our way in the dark here. Some power on first up. Uh, put one light on maybe so I can see. Okay, so let's check all the surfaces. We're all good. Let's open this window. Crank the throttle a touch. 
prop pitch forward. Now, Bravo's uh, for. Where am I? Manson Tower. Let's open the caps up. Let's get the fuel on. And like I said, I had the. Oh, I'll be your navigator for this operation. I've set up frequencies to the following channels A. Flying Bomber Command. B. Manston. C. The radio. D. That Lancaster flight that left this morning. Once Cordite flight has landed, taxi and line up the runway and wait for Bomber Command's guidance. We got until 0539 to be lined up on the runway. I believe tea time is 0540. Is that about nine minutes? Um, all right, so I got my channels, and I think it was the C for the BBC, so we'll give that a listen, and then D was for that Lancaster flight, so there you go. Um, they'll definitely come into play at some time, some stage. Uh, all right, I'm going to get this thing cranking, so let's do it. Ground crew. All right, let's get these engines going. Attention all flights, bomber command. Caution, Cordite flight are on final for last night's mission. Do not taxi into the Cordite flight and safely land. Bomber command. All right, so very cool. We got some voice um, in there as well. I forgot what the buttons are pressed then. Oh, that sounds a bit high. Let's bring that back. Alright, engine one, good start. Engine two. Good start for two. Alright, let's get some lights happening. Let's get the nav lights, UV lights on. Uh, incidentally, yeah, 0540, so we'll get a bit of a sunrise, which will be nice. Uh, what else do I need? Don't need any of that yet. Let's put the headlamp on. Landing lights on. Um, this side light I'll put on. And what else? Usually have the bomb one on just so I can see what I'm doing there. Uh, I'll just have a quick look at the wings. Yeah, I've got no tanks on, so that's interesting. I thought I might have some. It's like a very long flight. Uh, blue light's coming through. Excellent. Yeah, so I've got the uh, kneeboard on here as well. Whoops. It's got my little notes here for the startup, so... Yeah, very well done. It's always great to have a kneeboard to reference. And I've actually squeezed these ones on the kneeboard as well. So I'd like to have visual... There we go, that's the flight coming in now. So that's Cordite flight. Um, I am warming up. I probably... Let's call it in. I probably should have called in. Anson and start up first of all. I forgot about that. What am I yapping? Uh, now the heading, what are we... I've got the... Need those on, will be good for a start with navigation. So that is pointing 0380 ish. So I'm going to put this to 0380 ish. Now, if that is wrong, let me know, but that looks about right. Need a little bit less. Uh, now, the other question I've got is, if I'm heading on these headings 281, do I take uh, uh, magnetic declination into account and go a few degrees off, or do I just make heading there? Someone can let me know, and we'll soon find out once again in the air, I reckon. Uh, let's request taxi. We'll turn this light off.
turn the um, radiator on. Let's put a bit of trim. Oops, get the other way, thanks. Alright, let's get on the runway. Last, one of the last missions that... Attentional flights, Dominic. Caught our flight just informed us. The message was delivered. Hold and runway and wait for the green flare. Good luck, boys. 0540 is a go. Alright, so we are good. Mission is go. I'm just trying to line up here. It is very dark out there. Okay, I'm holding. So, what's the time? It's got about four minutes. Let's just put the um, pin in so I can hold the brakes. Alright, um, yeah, I'll just hang here. I can actually dim these. Uh, I think that's actually a bug. I think that you can see it dimming around it, but the actual lights aren't. I mean, I noticed that last time I blew. Let's just turn them down a tad. We get the mood right. Let's jump to the navigator and switch his equipment on. Uh, what I should have done is switch over for warm up, but I um, might as well just leave it now. Let's assume our main tanks are working. So all our other Bombers getting ready to take off, so yeah, I'll just come back when we are ready to push in about uh, three or two and a half minutes. Alright, look at this. We have a line of mozzies coming up Manston Taxiway. So, what's that? I'm one, two, three, four. Is that the whole flight? See ten over there, and we had twelve, didn't we? So I assume that's going to be the whole flight. Maybe there's one still turning out down there. They're very neat. Uh, so I should get the green flare very soon. I have my plane set up. I'll just get these flaps down ten. Oh, there we go. Perfect timing. Um, let's get in the air. Let's hope I don't muck this up. Alright lads, follow me. Slipped on the pedals. Oh, that's not good. that left wing down. Crikey. We're up, we're up. Let's try to trim it a bit. Let's get that gear up. Flaps up. And out we go. Now our first uh, point of call is 281. 20 miles and I am facing west. It's not right. There's the water. Which am I taking off here? Hi, Skipper. Wait, wait, turned wait, around already. Two eight one altitude six thousand. Range twenty miles to East Church End. Okay, 055. So I've got about 10 minutes of an orbit. 
Jeez, I hope I get enough fuel for this. I feel like these tanks. <laughs> I know it's got good fuel economy, but uh, I feel like I should have loaded some wing tanks with me. I've gone over it, have I? Oh, I'm directly over it. Yeah, I'm directly over it. Alright, I'll go into a left hand orbit. Um, I was aiming for a right hand one, but we'll go left hand. And let's try to get some height. Get that climb to send up. There we go. See if I have better luck in the Mosquito than I do with the uh, Anton climbing. As the beautiful sunrise comes through the clouds. Alright, we've been circling for a while now. Um, there's East Church right on my 11. I am at, there or thereabouts, 8,000, I think, if I'm reading that gauge right. And we are coming up to the time I can start pushing, so I think I will make it on this pass. Uh, so, orbit away point 2 is 242. Okay, skipper, looking good. The boys are forming up lovely. Push for away point 2 from East Church, heading 242 for 8,000, range 10 nautical miles to Detlin. It's an awesome sight. Very well done. Uh, yeah, it's also with the boys. Got the navigator with me. It's really cool. Uh, 242. So it's going to be. Got to find it. Where was it? There it is. Two four two. So let's level out. See where that's pointing. Two four. So we want to come right a touch. And now it looks like it's lined up on that. So I'm confused. Okay, let's switch over. Alright, making the turn. Let's 
Um, all right, so yeah, we had a little that uh, talk through. I haven't heard that before. It's a uh, very good listen. It's probably a bit over a number of these Merlins. Uh, it was very hard to hear, so... Um, but yeah, people can uh, have a listen to that a bit clearer when they play the mission, or I do believe you can have a, a listen to that um, on a video as well. I'm trying to find my 085. Um, I found Limpney. But it wasn't really on my heading, it was still a bit off, so I'm just going by the coastline a bit here. I think I've got to go a bit further right than I am pointing on my directions. So maybe I do got to add 5 degrees, I reckon. Because um, if I was on heading, I would have been cutting this uh, corner here, so there's the B-17s ahead of me. It's very cool to have the uh, navigator talking on. I've hit my spots first, but it's going to get hard from here because I know the English coast not too bad. I was looking there for Hastings and Lickney. You will watch me as it came into that area. Um, loving this bomb flight all around me. There's the little friends. Canadians. Welcome, lads. But I've still got to make my landfall which was between Calais and Dunkirk, uh, the two little port here, so I might be able to visually do that. I think I've... Yeah. Yeah, very, very good. There's a lot going on around. I just love, I love this type of stuff. Um, yeah. Take it off. Go back to my flight. Yeah, these Merlins are extra loud. It's a beautiful time of day too with the clouds. Loving it. So I'm going to make for a bit out. As I said uh, on the flight path. 085, so I'm going to make for about 090, I reckon, or just just after, because I think I'm going, need to go right, going by how this is going. I'm loving it, I'm absolutely loving it. Uh, what's my flight, I should, uh, my altitude, I should say, I went for, uh, where was it, 15,000. 13,000 now, so let's get a bit of altitude up. These guys are at 27, I think. Four B-17s coming back. Oh. Let's be sure to chat away. If you are not already Thanks, Navigator. Oh, this is stunning. I love it. Absolutely love it. Oh.
Let's have a look at that. Let's have a look at that. Isn't that awesome? All right, I made a little um, error there. Uh, I missed this waypoint, so I saw the landfall and I kind of corrected uh, coming back over. But yeah, I'm just making for a little bit over the sea here, and hopefully I didn't muck it up too much. So I'm back on zero nine zero. So I saw the coast off to my right wing and I thought I was going right off track, but yeah, I just got to go a bit more this way. Hopefully, I still hit there about the mark. And I want to turn in at... One, two, six. That, that is an amazing sight. It is absolutely running like a dream. I was a bit worried with the extra planes, but I've never had smoother performance. Um, there was a little uh, video by Spudnocker that was talking about the TacView recording, and um, I took that into advice and turned that off. And you know what? Might be okay, actually improving. Waypoint six heading one two eight, eighteen thousand feet, twelve nautical miles to Grand Fort Philip. Alright, perfect. We didn't muck that up too much. Excellent. What height am I? 14,000. I'm a little low. Oh, this is this is terrific. There's the port. There she is. So, if I roll out now, what's my head in? 1.5. No, it's coming back. Definitely Mot 128, so I'm a bit out. I'll try to get a very accurate flyover of this port and go from there. Try to get back on track. Because from here, I can't do it visually. I've got two or three turns, but that's going to be very, very hard, so I've got to make sure I hit it. me fuel going. Not too bad. It's 15,000 now. Okay, very close to the coastline now. And then I want 134, so let's see if that pops up. Hopefully got the right area. Pretty sure I've nailed it. That was starting to worry me because I should be on top of it. <laughs> Come on Nav, let me know. Hmm. Oh, thank crikey. 10,000. That we are. I haven't had any flak. So this is worrying me where I'm going to head here. Because these headings have been off each time. The way I'm reading this. So... Left more. Watch out, Skipper. Got flak on us. Uh, that's not what we need. Let's stay up at 15,000 until that passes, I reckon. Ah, oh, two. Two is here. Ah, two. Ah. Why do I always lose two? Oh, crikey, that's a lot of flak. Oh, we've lost our. Lost our. Oh gosh, the little friends in trouble. Oh, let's keep our heading though. Oh, so we're going to be in trouble. What was it? One, three, four. Okay, we're pushing past it now. Hopefully. Oh, that wasn't good. That wasn't good. A little bit scattered. 
we'll still pull this off. Alright, so my head in. Uh, left again. Mm, this has got me very worried. Let's get down to 10,000 as per the brief. I'll be able to see a bit better on the ground, I guess. So it looks like the main town here, Waypoint 7, with the four main roads heading through. So visually I might be able to recover if I off target. 15,000 now. River there. So the time wise from waypoint six to seven, I'm doing about 250. I'll do the quick calculation. Alright, so it comes up as about five minutes, uh, I might reckon in 20 miles. The 250, I'm going pretty fast as I'm still descending. 1200, or 12,000, I should say. Heading wise, uh, we're off to the right again, but I don't think that's a bad thing because the likes have been off each time. We're flying about three minutes from the coast now, so we'll see how we go. We might fluke it. <laughs> There's a main um, forest down there, so this could be this forest here. It's a really good bet, so it looks very much matched up to this green forest here, so I reckon that's our run in when we get there, but we'll keep this heading for now. Let's keep in that, so attitude's down at 10,000 now. Put us right in the clouds. Oh, there we go. Right, here we go. Okay, through the gate at 4,000 feet. Oh boy. Let's get this gun sight on. Got the camera, gun sight. Let's not rip our wings off. Yep, there's the smoke. So I'm making for that run now, and then I should be able to see Nerville. About the beepin. That's Merville right there. So I wanted to head. I'm looking at it. Yep. I left a bit, then I'll make the run in. Four thousand it was, wasn't it? A um, little low. All right, here we go. This is where it gets uh, where it gets chaotic. Oh, Tally Bandit. That's not good. Come on, little friends. All right. I'm just gonna open this one a bit early, but I just want to get these doors open. Um, them. Now I want those buildings right here. Where's that? Make sure I've got the right way here. Yeah, they're on the south side. So what am I looking at here? No, it's these buildings. It's these three. <laughs> oh gosh. That was a shocker. 
Oh no, heading south there. <laughs> All good. Um, Alright, get ready for bomb release. We are definitely armed. Oh boy, oh boy. That was a shocker, I'm releasing. Oh, I should have got the flight to run in as well. Ah, flight. Um, oh, crud, I hit it. Um, let's get out of here. Oh, what am I looking for? Engage. Mission rejoin. So I go back in and are back around. Oh, getting the traces up. Be careful. Let's get that pop pitch back up. Bombay doors closed. Oh. Oh, I've just lost an engine. I didn't take a hit. I've just lost... Oh, the fuel. Okay, good show, Skipper. We have five minutes and see what we need to do. We're ready, Skips. Oh, up, 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 up. Altitude 6, oh, I've lost an engine. Oh, I'm in trouble. <laughs> I might not be able to do a second run here. Just got to get that right over. Oh, was that the fuel? I, th I don't know. I, don't, I think my engine just stopped. Alright lads, do what you can on the ground, because I've got to keep my head up and get back on one inch and again. Uh, good show, Skipper, when ready, waypoint 9, I think my height's out the window, serious, uh, what are you doing mate? <laughs> um, 250. Oh, this is not good. It's not good at all. My boost. Oh, here we go again. Oh, there's fireworks down there. Two five zero, two five zero. Let's be heading. Now we're near it. Well, it's meant to go south and back out. Yeah, you keep going, lads. You keep going. Don't worry about me. I'll be just fine. Try and make 250, we'll just take the long way around. Crikey, I don't know what happened. Can I restart the thing? Oh, I'm in trouble here. I'm in trouble. I haven't put this back. Let's just switch mags off and try it again. Never know. I don't think this is going to work, but worth a try, then I'll feather it. Oh, I almost forgot about feathering it. No, that engine's gone. That is gone. So, we'll try a feather. Oh. And then let's just keep that there. Oh, my speed. Oh, he's not looking good. Neither is my rudder. Oh, crikey, this ain't good at all. Waypoint 10, and in 289. Okay, 289. 12,000, range 33, range 2. Can't tell. I've got a lot of problems here. My speed is just not doing as well as I did the one engine on the last mission. Let's try to get as much speed as zero. So three five seven. Was it? No, no, that was the other one. So waypoint nine. I'm on two. Eight zero. Sorry, Nav, I had my hands full there. I was trying to listen. That's roughly 280. I can't blow this engine though. A bit more speed up. Got to bring the boost back a bit. Let's keep this flight level. I've got to keep low. Ah, oh, crikey. This, I'm, I'm actually inputting rudder this time. The last time I got around it. Not sure if I've got something out of whack here. I've cut that left engine down. I've got it right off the power. And I'm actually putting input with the right rudder as well. Not just the trim. 
So I trim this way a bit, right wing down. Speed looks like it's going pretty well. 2650 is fine, that should hold the engine. I have to know what hit me, it just died. How are these lads doing? They're coming with me, excellent. Alright, here we go. I'm going to try to get back on one engine again. Oh, it's been really nice setup. I would have loved a few strafing runs with a gun, but um, wasn't to be. How's my little friends? Yeah, they're still with me. Um, I thought they might have went off engaged. We did get the call of bandits. Uh, so I'll just keep heading now. i just got to... Yeah, I'm trimming. I'm feeling a lot better now. A lot more confident. Let's just bring the boost down. Good work, Merlin. Good work. And then from here, we want to head, uh, what was it, 357, so 280, 33 miles. So this is probably the longest leg of the lot. So probably about eight minutes, I'd say. Is that enemy up top? I think that's uh, I think that's enemy. Crikey. Um That's enemy. Can I get the flight of my little little friend's gonna attack? <laughs> I don't need this right now. <laughs> They're coming onto our tail. They're coming around. You know what? Fly it. Defend yourself. Oh crap! Oh yes, yes, they're on me. They're on me. Oh, I'm on. I'm on the bloody BBC. Light. Engage. Bandits. Oh, crikey, they're, they're, they're taking a mill. Those are Spitfires, did they just get shot down? Oh, come on. Oh no. Oh no. Let's go this way. This could, this could end badly. Oh, go for. Go lads, go lads. Oh, this is horrible. We've been jumped. We've got no maneuverability whatsoever. Go get them four. I can see you up there. Whoa, cracky. Make a good speed. Forward, forward. Ah, oh, good work, Ford. I think that's the Spitfires. Oh, there's another one coming in on me. Gonna go this way. Don't rejoin. Isn't that one behind me? Oh come on. <laughs> oh I'm also flying too slow for him. <laughs> I haven't got the guns on after all that. That's ridiculous. It's embarrassing. Let's put that gun sight just in case one flies over the front of me. Oh this is nerve wracking. Coast is over there. I'm trying, I'm trying my best. Keep engaging. Ah, oh, you! No, no, they've got me. They've got me. They've got me all for all money. They've got me for all money. This is not fair. Oh, I'm struggling. I'm struggling. This could be it. This could be it. This could be it. This could be it. Ah, oh, we're going in, lads. We're going in. Let's bow. Let's bow. Come on, out the door, out the door. Uh, oh, that's unfair. Oh, what were these flights doing? What were they doing? Can't get 
the ah, oh, haven't got the outside views on uh, for this, but that's okay. We, we got it. My okay, pole, it's gone. I mean, navigator. Ah, oh, why never? I went for the front plane. All those other planes just sat around me. Oh, that's a shame. I reckon I would. I reckon I would have got that back. I reckon I would have got that back on that engine. Um, oh, that's a shame. But can't win them all. Um, let's have, I can't exactly jump to the other other lights to have a look. But you can hear them up there. I can't believe that. As casual as you like, those planes came in. I thought I, I thought I just dodged them enough. And I was home. I was home after that last one, but yeah, he just he just got on me tail and did my best. Hello, how are you? <laughs> All right, I'll leave it there. That was a uh, terrific mission. Very well put together. Um, I'm not sure if there was anything that was going to come up that I was going to miss. Um, navigators over there, but um, yes, from start to finish, very well done with the comms and the um, the navigation and the. Um, radio chatter there from the uh, Lancasters, uh, putting that in. Terrific. So, yeah, highly recommend. Um, I'll definitely gonna give it a refly to see what will happen. I think they're, they're still engaged up there. I can't believe that. Not one not one sparked up. I think I was on the other channel, to be honest. Um, so I clicked over briefly, but... Alright, I'll leave it there. Hopefully that was enjoyable up until the point I got shot down. Grrr.